Good afternoon. Uh, we have with us today Mr. Anil Kumar Saini. Uh, he is a managing director, rolling stock at Alastam India. We are at uh, Saharanpur depot where the wag toll uh, going to maintenance, right? Uh, so, sir, we would like to know how you are leveraging the digital technology to do the predictive maintenance over here. Well, I think both, uh, this is very important question you have asked. Mm -hmm. uh, so digitalization now is actually uh, finding very, very fast mm -hmm. uh, pace in terms of railway applications mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so locomotive has many components, uh, mm -hmm. you know, there are mm -hmm. power components, electrical components, right, mechanical right. components. Uh -huh. So now the cost of the sensors uh, is very low. So we mm -hmm. are able to embed a lot of very high quality sensors in the mm -hmm. locomotive mm -hmm. and through these sensors and geotagging method we are able to collect all the data mm -hmm. of the locomotive when uh -huh. it is running in the field uh -huh. it comes to a digital asset management system mm -hmm. uh, we call health hub in this right. case uh -huh. uh, so in the health hub we are able to collect the whole data and mm -hmm. we are able to give the assistance to the local pilot in case of mm -hmm. any uh, in, any troubleshooting help he needs in the field mm -hmm. and through this data actually we are able to streamline our maintenance schedule mm -hmm. and obviously move towards the predictive maintenance design right that's the main advantage in summary i would explain yes. you for. Sir, uh, what was your strategy uh, to put the depot maintenance in the saharanpur so saranpur location uh, of the depot maintenance mm -hmm. is decided by indian railways okay. based on their overall planning of uh, the goods locomotive shed mm -hmm. uh, and uh, sir you also like you have also going to open a depot maintenance in the nagpur uh, so uh, the same facility will be provided by over there as well or any other improvement in terms of uh, maintenance of the uh, you know e locomotives no, Nagpur will be very same facility wise. Okay. I would say it will be exact replica mm -hmm. of what we have Sandpur, mm -hmm. in what we have in Saranpur. Okay. However, there is one very distinct change in Saranpur mm -hmm. in the way of the staffing. Mm -hmm. So all the working level staff mm -hmm. would actually be are being provided by the Indian Railways. Mm -hmm. And only the managerial control and the spares management mm -hmm. will remain with Alstom. Okay. So the actual maintenance in Nagpur is being done by the Indian Railway staff. So they have been trained appropriately to maintain this locomotive. Okay. Uh, so sir, like uh, the deep, when the uh, depot is coming in Saharanpur and Nagpur, you have mentioned, so there will be some job creation on local level, right? And uh, as per our understanding that uh, we, you also include the women workforce. So, like, how, what, what, what is the future of, you uh, know, uh, jobs in Alastam uh, for the, uh, our people? Obviously, as and when the new facility will come, uh -huh. say, the setup of the Saranpur depot or the Nagpur depot, uh -huh. there has been a good amount of job creation, mm -hmm. which is direct as well as indirect also. Mm -hmm. So, direct job creation is kind of 500 people, uh -huh. but then indirect job creation is almost two times uh -huh. than the direct job creation. Uh -huh. So, it adds to uh, the development of that area okay. uh, because we mostly recruit local people from right. that area. Uh -huh. And also there is skilling. So right. these people are also actually skilled uh, there. They can, they may, they are, they are uh, you know, prepared uh, mm -hmm. to take up any new assignments which comes up on the project. Mm -hmm. So certainly it adds uh, in terms of the um, uh, job creation. Coming to the diversity, uh, usually in rail sector where mm -hmm. heavy metal works are involved, mm -hmm. the diversity has been low traditionally okay. in terms of women workforce. Uh -huh. But uh, uh -huh. in Saranpur, uh, we have 15% of women employee in the working level, mm -hmm. which is a very good percentage mm -hmm. and our objective is to take it to 25% mm -hmm. to the next level. So that's our big focus and right. I'm sure uh, the diverse candidate will actually add real value mm -hmm. in terms of mm -hmm. maintaining these locomotives. Mm -hmm. uh, we also understand that Indian Railway is also hiring a lo lot of local pilots, mm -hmm. uh, women local pilots. Mm -hmm. Because we are giving them training in Saranpur, right, uh, so right. they also, we see them, uh, the local pilots. Mm -hmm. So it's both sides, the operations staff as well as the maintenance, maintenance staff, right. where the diversity is a big focus uh -huh. area. Sir, uh, just out of curiosity, uh, see, 
we have a youngest population in the world and uh, the peoples are uh, like the our engineering college are not enough to give a ready uh, like ready workforce to be uh, used in in the plant right so is there any uh, do you find any skill technical skill gap between the uh, what we have learned in the college and uh, what we are using in the uh, the factories or any any kind of industry so like how you look like how do we see like it, it, it can be overcome no i think this is very important question what right. you uh, said today when uh, the engineering colleges are producing lot of uh, young graduates right how they are skilled up right right um, but i would be uh, happy to share with you now we see a good trend in mm -hmm. terms of uh, internship right so engineering college students are actually doing internship in second third fourth year mm -hmm. of their duration mm -hmm. uh, the their course duration mm -hmm. and uh, this internship is really helpful to actually make mm -hmm. them aware what's really happening in industry mm -hmm. so it's a very good interface uh, in the industry and academia between industry and academia mm -hmm. and uh, let me also tell you on uh, as part of elstorm during mm -hmm. our csr initiatives okay. we also have launched a lot of skill building program right. where we actually train people mm -hmm. and make sure them they are skilled up to adequate level mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, they also get placed somewhere right. you know they are hired by the uh -huh. uh, any company right, right. so skill building also we are doing uh, uh -huh. but to answer your question yes probably there is still lot more work to be done in terms right. of skilling of the graduates mm -hmm. so that when they come to the job they can quickly pick up the job mm -hmm. today we spend lot of time in training of the staff right that's very true <laughs> thank you okay uh, so uh, you know uh, during the our conversation like uh, you have mentioned that uh, no uh, indian railway is floating tender like uh, like over our lifetime of the product like previously they were used to buy the buy the uh, locomotives and then they use it and they do their uh, maintenance work now what they have changed they do the uh, like they they call the vendors to uh, like um, give the product i, I mean buy the buy the uh, uh, lo locomotive supply plus maintenance maintenance work, work right so like uh, alastom is uh, like uh, a giant in the in the field of locomotives whether it's uh, rrts whether it's uh, indian railway whether it's a uh, dfc whether it's uh, rrts right and the approx we we cannot we can't imagine the uh, metro project without the alastom right in the past uh, we can say 20 years and from now it's well like you are engaged with the uh, bhopal metro indore metro the recently inaugurated uh, delhi met rts by honorable prime minister right so uh, see uh, there are the uh, these are the recent change uh, by the government but there are the uh, locomotives uh, there are the metro coaches who are need to be refurbished or overhauling are you planning to be part of uh, that uh, in, in into into the them same like uh, are you planning to be part of the uh, service for overhauling no, of that uh, so if i uh, summarize for you no. the today the approach of the metro authorities plus indian railway is uh -huh. to give a bundled contract right, where supply right. plus services are integrated say, like, maybe uh -huh. 15 years maybe uh -huh. 35 years mm -hmm. depending on the contract uh -huh. this is a usual trend we have witnessed today in mm -hmm. india mm -hmm. and and as elstom we actually are fully integrated into this scheme mm -hmm. uh, today service apart from supply service also is our big business mm -hmm. uh, you see we are standing in saranpur right. and maintaining this high power mm -hmm. locomotive mm -hmm. so we are fully into it and we are looking you know to partner with the metro authorities and indian railways on these initiatives right. coming back to refurbishment so refurbishment uh, is a complex subject but mm -hmm. yes it can be looked into case to case basis uh -huh. and usually uh, uh, this product has to be owned by elstom if it is elstom product uh -huh. we are looking into how we can uh, take part into the right, refurb right. refurbishment initiative right. as well okay. uh, so sir uh, what are the sustainability uh, activity is doing by the elstom to mitigate the you no know, carbon emissions no i think you asked very important question today sustainability is a big focus area in elstom right so sustainability 
has multiple aspects you mm -hmm. know uh, mm -hmm. so sustainability in the product itself when mm -hmm. we manufacture the product right, right. Uh, can we use better material light material mm -hmm. uh, manufacturing uh, uh, carbon emission reduction during manufacturing process mm -hmm. so all these areas are being mapped mm -hmm. And uh, uh, th there's a big focus to reduce the carbon footprint in mm -hmm. terms of manufacturing the product itself. Mm -hmm. The second aspect is obviously when the product is running, right. how it can be more efficient. More, okay. So we have to have the efficient equipment there. We have mm -hmm. to have ec energy efficiency mm -hmm. uh, of the our converter, our inverters, mm -hmm. also the machine as a whole mm -hmm. is also a big focus area. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are many R&D programs also on this mm -hmm. aspect. Mm -hmm. So I would say I think sustainability we are uh, uh, we are today uh, focusing in a big way um, mm -hmm. uh, across the world mm -hmm. in all the projects mm -hmm. today. Just uh, uh, one last question I could ask you. Uh, see, uh, since Alastam is uh, localized and they manufacture 90% of their component in their own factory, 10% of the component like IGBT you have exp uh, import from the Japan, right? So, is there any, you know, the, there, are, there are some SMEs who are, who are might be depend on you. So, do also get the orders from the Elastum, do their business? So, when I would say let's take off the vector locomotive. Right. So, there right. are uh, close to 30 main suppliers. Mm -hmm. so they, these are mostly SMEs, mm -hmm. uh, MSMEs, which are which have been developed through mm -hmm. transfer of technology by Elastum. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, um, I'm happy to tell you that we have 90% localization on this locomotive project. Okay. Uh, so these MSMEs obviously have been trained by us. We got them TOT. Mm -hmm. We have given them order for a long run, de depending on the you know contract uh, mm -hmm. period, the supply duration, mm -hmm. and uh, very few components are being exported from outside, mm -hmm. uh, which is bare minimum, as you explained, like IGBT we right. import from Japan mm -hmm. and so on. So we are actually developing a supplier ecosystem, mm -hmm. which will serve the needs of the country when we go forward in terms of the rail sector. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, uh, Indian Railway is keeping eye on the high speed train, like you know, bullet train. So are you also planning to you know, manufacture those things? No, well, we have bullet train uh, projects. We uh, we supply TGV trains, you know, in France. Right, so right. we have the. It's, it depends on the kind of opportunity. We are open to all the opportunities, including high speed trains also. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot.